Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, March 7th, 2022 at 9 a.m. and time for the Angelus and Psalm 1. Alexa, Alexa, cancel. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And Psalm 1. Happy are they who have not walked in the counsel of the wicked, nor lingered in the way of sinners, nor sat in the seats of the scornful. Their delight is in the law of the Lord, and they meditate on his law day and night. They are like trees planted by streams of water, bearing fruit in due season, with leaves that do not wither. Everything they do shall prosper. It is not so with the wicked. They are like chaff which the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked shall not stand upright when judgment comes, nor the sinner in the counsel of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked is doomed. I also wanted to share this uh, passage on the Angelus during Lent. We pray the Regina Celli, Queen of Heaven, during Easter, since it celebrates the resurrection, but we pray the Angelus during all the other liturgical seasons. While we might say that it is especially relevant during Advent due to its focus on the Annunciation and the Incarnation, it does contain a perfect tie-in with the season of Lent. The Angelus comes with a or closes, excuse me, closes with a testimony to the Passion and Cross of Christ. After focusing on the beginning of Jesus' time here on earth, we remember his end. The mystery of the Incarnation cannot be isolated from the passion and death of our Lord. For it is not through the Incarnation alone that we find salvation, but through Christ's saving work in the Paschal Mystery. His complete self-sacrifice leads us into grace. His humiliation opens the path to glory. The Paschal Mystery is a traditional topic for Lenten meditation. We remember that our God loved us so much that he died for us. We remind ourselves that the true path to glory is the path of the cross. We give of ourselves and give up all attachments so that we can grow closer to Christ. Through his humility come joy and the glory of the resurrection. The Angelus makes for a wonderful Lenten devotion because it promotes detachment and um, selfless serving of others and keeps our minds on the Paschal mystery by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Uh, uh, whoops, I'm sorry. You know what? <laughs> well, anyway, okay. Let me back up on that because you may want to hear this. Okay. I omitted it because it wasn't essential. Um, pointing out promotes detachment with, with the line, uh, be it done unto me, and selfless serving of others with the line, behold the handmaid of the Lord, and keeps our minds on the Paschal mystery with the line, 
may we by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. So it closes with um, what, what I consider to be a pretty mundane um, meditation, and that is think about what you gave up during the most recent Lent or current season of Lent. Um, relate that sacrifice to the words of the Angelus. You know, I wish I experienced Lent that way. <laughs> I never usually do, so that one always throws me for a loop. Um, maybe more on that later, though. You know, the reason being is because, like, well, in particular with this season, this year, so many things have hit me that I'm dealing with. Um, I don't feel like I have like the luxury to, I mean, I know it sounds kind of self-serving or maybe like indulgent to say, but like my mind isn't on like luxuries that I can give up right now. You know what I mean? Um, and I don't necessarily think that is being too indulgent. It, you know, life just finds you like that sometimes. Um, so having opened up a whole can of worms with that. I'm going to leave that in place now and we'll possibly delve into that later. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was uh, something to, the first part anyway, something to share with you. Um, medication. All right. Out nicotine gum. Emergency, lisinopril, and vitamin D3. I'm showing you the right entries. <clears throat> so, what was it that happened to me the other day? that uh, I waited until today to talk about and really stressed me out. Well, in short, I ran into some people that I had not seen in a very long time, and I was excited by that. But the experience of hanging out with them, um, I don't wanna say I regret it, but like, it was a pain in the ass. And that was all the more disturbing because I was focused on how much I wanted to uh, catch up and enjoy my time with them, you know, and it kind of sucked. Um, and yeah, you know, I guess with everything else that's going on right now, it's a lot to deal with, 
It is. But we get through. Anyway, um, so I'm going to remind you and remind myself as I always do at the end of each video to brush your teeth, to floss especially, and to say your prayers most especially. And I'll see you in the next video.